Um, well, we went to go see the Super Mario Brothers movie. Not together. Not together. <laughs> I was there day one. Came out on my birthday. So me and the kids went at uh, 10 a.m. on the f- mm-hmm. opening day. Uh, God, you don't fuck around, do you? <laughs> I wanted to get it out of the way early, like, and just so we had the rest of the day. Fair enough. It's my birthday, so we went to the cinema and then went for lunch after, and then we had the rest of the day free. Yeah, stars Chris Pratt as Mario, uh, Anya Taylor Joy as Princess Peach, Charlie as Luigi, Jack Black as Bowser, Keegan Michael Key as uh, Toad, and Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong, amongst a plethora of other voice actors. Um, I'll put it out there like, I really, really like this. Mm-hmm. Um, really, really liked it. I'm just going to uh, triple tag team with you and jump onto oh, this good. one as well. And I completely. Oh, you've seen it too? Yeah, I saw it a couple of days ago. Completely out the blue. Enjoyed it way more than I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, it, the, the, the animation style is very much kind of modern Mario. So it's, it's kind of this, you know, the 3D Super Mario that you get at the moment. Like that's kind of the style at, like they've gone for. Um, and the story is basically Bowser gets a superstar. He's come in to attack. Mushroom Kingdom, Mario and Luigi are two just brothers setting up a plumbing company in Brooklyn. So they do start out in the real world and then they find the a magic portal into the Mushroom Kingdom and they get split up as they're going through this portal. And then, yes, yeah, kind of shenanigans ensue. Um, it does have some of its issues. The, like it, For a 90 minute film, it is very breakneck. Like it is set piece, go, set piece next, set piece next. Like there isn't a lot of breathing time in it, but it's a kid. I'm looking at this at the point of this is 100% a kids' film, and <clears throat> kids don't ma- don't care that my kids really really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, the animation in it is incredible. The soundtrack to it is taking out the pop culture soundtracks. If we took the score, is amazing. They're using like they're doing like remixes of like old Mario and like Donkey Kong themes and stuff like that, and there is references and Easter eggs galore in it. Uh, I know you said you're not an Easter egg man, Oodles, but you cannot mm-hmm. tell me you didn't smile when that when Luigi's mobile phone rang. <laughs> oh, was it with a, with a ringtone? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I like my favorite. My favorite little gag when he's fucking like, stone. <laughs> no, my favorite gag was when he's like, yeah, it, it does work. You just got to blow into. It. Yeah, I enjoyed that one. Yeah. Oh, so, favorite, but right? like it's just like little things like there's little touches here and there but um the story is the story is just a basic mario game it's really it's bowser's attacking and everyone has to fight fight bowser there's no there's no real plot or story to it but i don't really care i mean there's never really a plot or story to a mario game no there isn't but the i just like another castle keep running oh they mentioned that yeah that's... <laughs> there's a great um i won't spoil what it does but i mean it's all over TikTok and Twitter and and this even broke into the charts now. There's a song. wonderful Jack Black, like Jack Black gets to do a Jack Black song in it. Um, There's is, a music video and everything. Yeah, it's fucking great. He's done like a music video to it. Yeah, I mean you're not going to put Jack Black in your film and not give him a song. Yeah, but I didn't really expect <laughs> it because it's the only song in there. But um, yeah, I I just really really enjoyed it. Um, I think the critics got this completely wrong. I don't think they were looking at this from what it is, which is a kids' film and a kind of Easter egg nostalgic um, film, most, film for adults who grew up loving Mario. Yeah, I think most of the critics who rated it down rated it down because they're not fans of Mario or didn't play it as a kid. There, like, there was literally one reviewer who like Robbie made Collins reference. Robbie Collins savaged it. Oh, yeah, but he's a bellend. Um, <laughs> there was one reviewer who literally, when Mario's in the cat suit, she didn't know what that was. And she made fun of it. I'm like, there you go. You literally don't know what you're reviewing. So, yeah, but I, I just, didn't, I really enjoyed it. My turn. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, good. <laughs> I thought you were fucking brilliant. It's, it's the pace that I love most about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not minutes. Not once, not once did me and my kids think this is going on. Like, um, they went to see. Um, Puss in Boots that uh, were it last year <coughs> that came out. No, it's just oh, this year. Sure, yeah, a month ago. And, and and it's a bit longer, Puss in Boots, and they loved it. But my daughter's seven, and she gets a bit bored. But with this, it's just constant. It's just I, is again, it the perfect ADHD film? 
mate, it's not, it never stops. It's great, <laughs> Like, I mean... I've seen so many the, clips from it, and, and what, what are, like, I mean, it looks, it, yeah. It there's not much great. dialogue in it. Well, <laughs> well no, what, what, what I'm wondering is, like, all these different clips I've seen, because apparently loads of people are just now filming in cinemas. I've seen so many things on yeah. TikTok where someone's just filmed on their phone. That's um, None of the clips I've seen look like they were part of the same film. They all, everything looks it's so mental. disparate. It's so fast. It's so, and this is, and I, I don't give a fuck if the reviewers are getting a bad review. I, I think it's more, it's not that they're not fans of Mario. I think, I think there's a hype problem with some certain stuff, an internet hype, and I, these reviewers will know about the zeitgeist. People getting so excited, and it's all about clicks because someone's going to get angry that someone's giving it a bad review. That's what I think it is. I think there's some kind of we're going to get more hits to say this is a two out of ten. There's absolutely no way it's a two out of ten. Mm. It's a it's a strong eight, weak nine. I just thought the pace was fucking sensational. Um, Chris Pratt's brilliant he doesn't speak much um, Charlie Day's probably my favourite in this um, I really like Jack Black as well and oh, so Keegan-Michael good. Key's really good in it um, Anya Taylor-Joy's again she's always a sensation isn't she it's just there's not enough like I, I read a review saying the, the, the script's terrible there's not enough dialogue to say it's, it's not it's not fucking Pulp fiction, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I get, I get that. I get that. Um, kids films, like they can be. Kids films can be good. Like some kids films are genuinely amazing and have a lot more yeah. to them than this film does. But it, it just kid the kids. I kids are fucking loving it. Um, my kids was pissing the sense all the way through it. My yeah. lad's ten and he's he's a fucking little road man and he's like, oh, I don't like nothing. I'm so fucking. And he was fucking <laughs> howling all the way through it. And these kids, my kids don't know Mario. Now they're obsessed with Mario. My kids are obsessed with Jack kids Black. movies are the he ones that to the adults can Black. enjoy. I, 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 just, I, just think, yeah. I just think lately, especially reviewers and that, they're not allowing people to just enjoy shit. It's, it's, it's it's, always, there's always an edge. There always has to be an edge to it. And it pisses it's, me off. It's mad that on Rotten Tomatoes, that it's 56% from the critics and 96% from the audience. This is oh, really? I think right to see it. I mean, I mean, I mean, the guy. Do you know in Britain, right? Do you know how, how subdued we are in cinema in Britain? This is the first film I've seen since uh, Infinity War and Endgame that people stood up and clapped at the end. <laughs> in Wakefield. <laughs> there was such a mix of people in our cinema as well like the one we went to it's it was probably like 35 year olds and upwards and then the kids and like both generations were loving it because the older ones for the nostalgia reasons the younger yep. ones because mm-hmm. it's a kids film and just yeah it was it's the cinema was absolutely packed out as well and if anyone's worried oh, about the, the chris pratt, laugh. if anyone's worried about the chris pratt voice it's it's just not you don't need to worry about it at all like He's got forty lines of dialogue throughout the whole film. It don't matter. Not to mention, like all the all the classic Mario lines are actually in there. Yeah. All the wahoos and so it's just it's just not the entire way through, which is something we I think we talked about beforehand. Like who actually wants to listen to that voice exactly. for ninety minutes? Charles Martinet is in the film. He plays yes, he Mario's dad, and yep. he also plays a little cameo, another cameo in there, mm-hmm. and like. I couldn't put up with a whole film like that. Not a f- chance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, and even even he said he came out and said I couldn't do that a full time film on that voice because it's too it would put too much strain on me. So yeah, I get right. I get the argument of maybe we should hire voice actors. Not like this film doesn't need Chris Pratt. Doesn't need, doesn't need Charlie Day. Doesn't need Seth Rogen. Doesn't Stig, need- I'm not being horrible or anything. But- you could have done that role because there's barely any dialogue in it. Yeah, it's like it's not it, enough. It could have been a professional voice actor, and that would have, and it still would have sold bucket loads. Like this film is not being yeah. sold on who's in it; it's been sold on oh, it, mm. Super Mario. I couldn't give it, so, but yeah, you do hear the wahoos and the mamma mias, yeah. and mamma you're like, mia. fuck, listening to that for ninety minutes. Sorry, yeah. it's annoying. Yeah, I my, actually my biggest complaint about this is I does sideline Luigi a lot until right to the end. In it. Yeah. It needs to have yeah. more. It, there's going to be a sequel because this is made of bucket load of money. It's also it made by be, Illumination. They don't just do one film. Yeah, there needs <laughs> to be um, more Luigi. I think in the it's next best one. looking film they've ever made. Oh yeah. Oh, well, you would hope it's so. Absolutely. 
It's absolutely stunning. Mm. Yeah, like you, especially the first like close. It rivals you get of Pixar. Mario. They, they they rival Pixar now when it comes to animation. Mm-hmm. Undoubtedly, but yeah, when you first like, see the close up of Mario, you can see all his paws, and you can see like individual. Yeah. Hair. He's got a surprisingly useful amount of hair, doesn't it? Like I don't know what ages Mario and Luigi were supposed to be, but younger than I had imagined them from the games. Because they still, sort still of lived at home with, they still lived at home with the parents, so they're yeah. ageless. They are ageless. Yeah, yeah. I don't really. Have what's an age, what's wrong they? with like middle-aged people having loads of hair? Kind of like I've got loads of hair, mate. No, it's just very, very fluffy and youthful. <laughs> but it, it's just... I, I, I understand, sort of. They're Italian. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, but I, I liked the way that you, you know you say they sideline Luigi. They did, but also they put him in a much more. Um, Luigi suiting environment, I thought, at the beginning of the film. Oh, like, yeah. It gave him the opportunity to uh, bust out some torches. And My, uh, uh, my daughter's favourite character in the whole thing is that little blue star. The Lumos. I yeah. loved the, him. The emo L- Lumos thing. The Lumos is Just incredible. Adored him. The only, thing, <laughs> the only thing we can look forward to is the sweet embrace of him. Yeah. Like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Lumos is, is great. Yeah. Oh, it's all there. See this film now, aren't it? It's all there. Like honestly, gadget, you, gadget is so fun. If you have played, if you've spent thirty-five years playing Mario games, like I have, there's so many little touches. Even like hailing back to pre-Super Mario Brothers, there's Jumpman references. There's like Jumpman's in it. Yeah, the the as a separate character, <laughs> the Donkey Kong. Um, when he fights Donkey Kong, that you see in the trailer, like the, the arena is set out like the original Donkey Kong the original throwing the Donkey barrels Kong. with the yeah. with the girders, and it's all the, there's so many great little touches in there. Like my only my biggest complaint is the use of popular songs, popular culture songs that don't really fit. But it's an illumination film, so it's going to be like that. And I have actually heard some of the score, which someone made this really great Donkey Kong Country remix. Um, and that was meant to be in place of, I think, whether you take on me. I'm like, mm-hmm. that song, that, that, that Donkey Kong song, like kind of reimagining, so much better. But, you know, you've got to get in your pop songs, aren't you? Yeah, because they'll sell a they'll sell an album. But the they? rest of this score, oh, just I just I just think it's a good if you're on the fence. I think you've got to be a really soulless idiot not to think. Oh, it, yeah, I enjoyed that because it's not long. Yeah, it's not wasting your time. It doesn't. It, it doesn't care if you've not seen Mario before. You've never played Mario. It doesn't. My kids haven't. It doesn't care about any of that. What it cares about is ninety minutes or whatever. I've just just having a little fucking laugh, man. Yeah, I, I, think, it, it, I think, think it does cater. It caters for <clears> both. I think it's catering for someone like me who wants to finally see a Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> like, not. I, I also, can I just get this in? If you're saying the '93 version is better, you're fucking lying. It's not a good film. <laughs> I'm sorry, but all these people going out going, "Oh, the '93 film is better." You might wish yourself seeing that. No. No, this is what I want from a Mario film. This is Mario. I, I've played the Mario games for 35 years or however long it's been. It's been about that, hasn't it? This mm-hmm. is Mario. That wasn't Mario. Like, mm. I'm sorry, but you do. if you're saying that you should be watching that film over this one, you do not like Mario, don't understand Mario, and you weren't a fan, and you're just fucking talking out your ass. Have you heard rumours after this week? Illuminations Legend of Zelda. Oh yeah, yeah. Talk about a Zelda film, but just one more last thing as well. On I go and post and read stuff on Rulemook, and a lot of the time, films like this get absolutely slated. And it has the most no, wait there, it has the grumpiest bastards on there saying how much they love this film. I thought it was fantastic. (laughs) I've got nothing negative to say about it, other than there's a few things here and there. There are a few things here and there. I'm not but bothered. It's such a I, great, I like, fun film. Yeah. I could have done with more Mario Kart bits, but other than that, we're all right. We're all right. I like it. I, I really did like it. Didn't need to have a pool. I mean, 90 minutes. Oh, that's it.